do you want? Come to laugh at miserable, moaning, moping myrtle too? No, uh, of course... Or perhaps you've come to use me as target practice like those wretched Slytherin twins. I may not be able to feel physical pain, but it still hurts. No wonder you're so upset. I'd flood the bathroom too if someone did that to me. Don't pretend like you care about me. No one ever cares. No one bothers to see past the spectacles to the delicate, beautiful girl underneath. Not since Draco. That's not true. I, I can... Wait a moment. Draco? As in Draco Malfoy? Yes, kindred spirits, he and I. A bit misguided and tormented, sure. But a sensitive soul who just wanted to be loved and accepted. But well, wasn't he a Death Eater? Didn't he try to assassinate the previous Headmaster? Technically, yes. But he had no choice. Hear me out and you'll understand. Sectum Sempra Acromantial of Venom Sectum Sempra What do you want? Now you're in trouble. Incendio. Sectum Sempra Uh, Draco was rather nasty to Harry, wasn't he? And Harry's suspicions about Draco were correct, weren't they? Not to mention that Draco did attack first. That's besides the point! If Harry had just taken a moment to listen to Draco... ...the whole mess could have been avoided. I don't know about that, but I am surprised that Harry Potter... The Harry Potter used such horrible dark magic. And against a fellow student, no less. I know. I swore in that moment that I'd never forgive Harry for scarring Draco's handsome, pale face, no matter how much he begged me. But those big, beautiful green eyes of his looked so scared and guilty that I just couldn't help but forgive him. <sighs> oh, are you still here? You can go now.
I'm telling you, there's no way you could have won that many duels in a row without cheating. And yet I did. So unless you've got some proof to back up those bogus claims, I suggest you get to work on our potions essays. And no big words. Slughorn's starting to get suspicious. What was all that about? The Freys have been on a suspiciously long winning streak in Dueling Club, so I accused Bishop Frey of cheating. He goaded me into a duel to see for myself on the condition that he'd turn himself in if I was able to find proof of my accusations. I take it that you didn't? No. So in addition to being totally humiliated in front of the entire dueling club, I now have to do the phrase homework for a week. And let me guess, you're still convinced that he's cheating and want to expose him? You know me too well. Almost as well as I know Fisher Frey, which is why I'm certain he's up to something. If you're that convinced, then how can I help? Well, I was planning on tailing them. I suppose you could help keep an eye out for anything suspicious. What are we gonna do? Daniel's on to us. But what if someone finds our cauldron and supplies? Calm down. No one ever uses Moan and Myrtle's bathroom. That's why we picked it. Even if they do, they have no proof it's ours. I was right. They're definitely cheating. Should we tell Professor Flitwick? No, at least not yet. It'll just be our word against theirs. If we really want to corner them, we'll need physical evidence. Then I suppose a trip to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom is in order, isn't it? Judging by the ingredients they've gathered, and the sparkling turquoise liquid in their cauldron, I'd say the phrase are brewing a scintillation solution. A sin what? It's a potion that boosts your proficiency and intelligence. Similar to a wit sharpening potion. It's no wonder Fisher Frey's on a winning streak. He was already a pretty talented duelist before. Under the effects of a scintillation solution, he must be master level. The only question now is, what are we going to do about it? What if we swap their scintillation solution with a placebo? They'll go into their next duels expecting to win without much effort, and hopefully get a rude awakening. I do have a bottle of pumpkin juice on me that we could pass off as a fake potion. A simple color-changing charm and they'll never know the difference.
That was humiliating. I can't believe I lost that badly. Ugh. And in front of the entire club, too. What happened? I thought the scintillation solution was supposed to make it so we always won. It was. Bloody useless potion. That's the last time I rely on it. Think the phrase learned their lesson not to cheat? <laughs> Thanks for helping me expose them. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go tell them to write their own stupid essays. Book? No, sorry. But I'd be happy to help you find it. Do you remember where you last saw it? A clearing in the Forbidden Forest. I was doing a bit of sketching out that way. I could have sworn I put it back in my bag when I finished. But it's not there. Maybe it fell out. I'm sure we'll find it if we retrace your steps. So long as we're in the general area, we can use the summoning charm to bring it right to us. Oh, I hope so. Some of my best work to date was in that sketchbook. I'll be devastated if it's gone. I'm pretty sure this is where I was drawing. I distinctly remember that niffler shaped patch of moss. But I don't see my sketchbook anywhere. Let me give the summoning charm a go. Akio Sketchboot! Huh? What happened? Actually, I heard you say Sketchboot. I'm sure it was just an accidental slip of the tongue, but you have to be really clear with this spell. Should I give it a go? No, no, I've got this. I'll enunciate better this time. Alright, but try it over by that tree instead. I just remembered that I took my sketchbook there to quickly do a cute fairy that was fluttering by. Right here. This is where I drew the fairy. Then let's try this again. Akio sketchbook. Ah, uh, nothing again? What am I doing wrong? I've read that you have to clearly visualize the object you're trying to summon in your mind. Are you doing that? Yes. All right, no. I was thinking about that sketch you did of a unicorn last week. Can I try one last time? It's a matter of pride now. Of course, but let's move over to that stump. I remember setting my bag down on it as I packed up all my art supplies. It's possible my sketchbook fell out while I was rounding up my pencils. If my sketchbook isn't here, then I don't know where it possibly could be. Don't worry, Lottie. I've got a good feeling about this time. Akio Lottie's sketchbook!
Akio. Acromantula Benna. Antipodian Opera. Atmosphere Charm. What do you want? Now you're in trouble. Acus. Atmosphere Charm. Cindio. So you two followed Lottie all the way into the Forbidden Forest and stole her sketchbook when she had her back turned. Why? The reason. Just seemed like it'd be fun is all. I could tell you didn't like it, but... What? No way! What would we care about some stupid drawing? You drew the phrase, Lottie? Yes. I was experimenting with a more abstract, postmodern style of portrait. Admittedly, it did turn out a bit... odd. Odd? You made us look like idiots monsters! Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea my art hurt you. I should have considered how you'd feel before I drew it. How about I rip this one up and start over? I suppose I can't stop you. But before I start drawing, I want to thank you for helping me find my sketchbook. I'm going to dedicate my next piece to you.